Nothing like what I expected. No, not at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's so sparkly. I love it. You have grasshoppers in your veil and everything. <laughs> I feel like that's fitting. For me. Yeah. <laughs> this is so beautiful. You look very handsome. Thanks. I'd say some really sexy things to you right now, but I have a microphone. I see that. <laughs> Landon's gonna hear it. Love hearing that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. And I love that locket too. I think it turned yeah. out so beautiful. Yeah. What God hath joined, let no man put asunder. For as much as Michael, Michael and Madison have consented together in holy matrimony, and have witnessed the same before God in this company, and have pledged their love and loyalty to each other, and having declared the same by the joining and the giving of rings, I, therefore by the authority of God and the state of Montana, pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations, you may kiss your bride. I'm Aunt Sue. I have uh, known Pam for 45 years, which is amazing because I'm only like 46. But I've known Madison her entire life. When I was asked to talk today, it had a very profound impact on me. It really caused me to reflect on my own 29 years plus with a fantastic spouse. I asked myself, what advice can I give these two young adventurers? And a thought came to my mind that I believe with my entire heart. A marriage is like a bucket. It has sides and a bottom. Two parts that make it work. Just like two people in a marriage. 
without the other part, there is no bucket. There is no marriage. What a marriage becomes is made from what those two people put in that bucket. If, they, if only one person adds to the bucket, then the other one won't have much to take out. You both have to put something into the bucket to get anything out. What do you put in the bucket, you might ask? What do you put in the bucket? There you go. Man, they're slow tonight. Anyway. You put in your dreams, your memories, your wants, and your needs. You place your truest desires within that bucket, and you watch as your spouse helps them grow and flourish. However, the most important thing you will ever place in that bucket is trust. Trust. Trust that everything your spouse does is for you and only you. Never do anything to break that trust. And my last piece of advice is never let your bucket get empty. Make your goal to overflow it. Madison, today I vow to always be aware of how lucky I am to be with someone as amazing as you. You are worth more than simple promises to me. Still, uh, I'm going to list a few promises that will give you a glimpse of what it will be like to have me as a husband. To start, I promise to always be there for you when you need me. I will always do my best to listen to your words and imagine myself in your shoes at the times of your struggles, big or small, so that I can share your burdens and help relieve your pain, stress, and anxiety in any way that I can. I promise to accomplish goals with you and to be a finisher with you. I promise to take you fishing whenever the weather calls for it <laughs> or when you feel the urge to escape reality. I will not let life get in the way of our happiness, especially when times are more of a struggle than the average day. Lastly, I promise to always be your best friend, your lover, and your adventure buddy. I love you, Madison. <laughs>